Good morning everyone, it's Monday. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. It's about half past eight, got myself ready. I've actually got a new cardigan on. I got this in m and the other day. I was um, buying my sister's birthday present and I was getting her some lovely summer dresses. And I saw this and I was just like, this is literally <laughs> everything I need because I always want a long cardigan that covers your bum when you are wearing leggings and I really love it because it's really soft and like elegant because it's not got too much going on. They had it in like every color. They had black, gray, maybe a navy and then like a beige, but I did like the cream the best. Oh no, the battery's flashing at me. Let's change the battery. That's better. My memory cards are also really full because I have this thing, I don't know if this is so boring, but for content creators, maybe this is interesting. I have a few memory cards. I actually think I'm gonna order one today because with weekly vlogging, it's not how I used to do it. And maybe you've noticed no change. Maybe you've noticed a change, but I used to vlog just a couple days or a few days in the week. And then my um, videos every week would be kind of like mixed and matched. It wouldn't necessarily always be a vlog. It could be a food video, it could be anything. But because I'm now trying to consistently vlog every day during the week and then kind of have that every week alongside whatever else I film, I have so much footage on the cameras and I don't like to delete the content until it's gone live. So I have a full week's worth. And um, I also do the same with my food videos. So I've been really behind with editing my um, food content to be repurposed on Instagram and TikTok. <clears throat> and so it's all just on the memory card. I need to just this morning, I've been lazy. I need to just remove it all from the memory cards onto my computer and then swipe everything. So it's Monday, it's raining outside. We're all getting a bit sad about the rain in England. Uh, we made so much progress last week painting the outside of the office and I will show you the front because I think yesterday I didn't vlog. I just really got into the zone and it was raining on and off so it's a bit challenging to film. But we uh, finished that sort of bathroom section on the outside, finished painting everything, the fascias. It takes so long because you have to do loads of coats and uh, we also cleaned up the gutters. We thought we were needing new gutters, but we cleaned them and reinstalled them and they look so good. They look really, really dramatically different. So we've just got the rest of the building to do, which has a few challenges that we will overcome, but I'll share that with you this week. And I've just, on a Monday, I like to have a proper admin day. I'm gonna sit down on my computer for the morning and empty my memory cards, sort all my work out, and then um, I'm going to be filming the finished finished filming the spring summer declutter because I stopped last week but I've got my shoes and accessories to go through which will be really satisfying and that's kind of my plan and I hopefully will have time to go to the shops later got to shoot, shoot tomorrow with Ali we were like reshooting some content so I need to go to the shops and if I don't have time then I'll book a Sainsbury slot for the morning in fact I might just book one anyway just in case yes I'm gonna book one anyway because the natural store may not have some things that I need so that's the plan, let's make breakfast. Also, how cute is this hair clip? I got this in Boots the other day. It's like pearl and gold. And I love it. So, so cute. So we've got my chickpea omelette on the go with shiitake mushrooms. And then some toast with avocado and kimchi. This is my new, like just absolute favorite and Alex's favorite. And what we do is we just mix up the dry ingredients, put it in a jar, and then we've got it ready to go. You just mix water in. And the key to making this is just having the patience to wait for it to cook. It takes quite a long time. If you flip it too early, it will fall, it will fall apart. And the recipe, oops, the recipe is in my cookbook and it's really, really simple. And it's very high in protein, so it's a really great start for the day and I'm so excited. So let's pop this on. It looks like a proper omelet, doesn't it? beautiful. I've just finished filming trying on every pair of shoes I own. I am so hot. Look at my veins. Can you see them? No, you can't. <laughs> I'm so hot and I hope you appreciate that video. It has made me realise how many shoes I have and actually I've just realised I definitely have some more downstairs in the cupboard. There's some Vivo Barefoot like walking shoes and I feel like there's probably other shoes in there. Are there? Basically later on this week, you'll see in this vlog, 
I will sort through my coats and my shoes that are downstairs and do those with you. So if you saw that video and you missed out on the coats, it will be in this video. But now I have quite the mess. All of these shoes to put in the cupboard. Yay! It's many hours later. Can you hear the wind? I'm gonna take you outside and show you how far we are with the outside because I think I didn't vlog at the end of the last video and it may be windy though so be warned <laughs> if I try and talk and it's very windy. I'm in my paint clothes with my hair in my little cute clip looks very odd. Oh dear that looks like it's about to pour with rain. The wind was crazy and it looks like it's about to pour with rain so I don't know why I just got my paint clothes on because I don't think it's going to be doable but you saw in that clip how much better it looks. We focus on getting that bit done because of the kind of I guess the positive affirmation it gives if you get something completed that's something I would recommend if you're doing a redecorating or renovating project is as much as you want to do like the whole thing in one go and like do all of it like bit by bit sometimes getting one job completed can really boost the morale for the rest of it so we could have done the whole you know building and done coat by coat by coat but it would have just taken so much time so focusing on that bit and getting that bit done has felt really good and motivated me to finish alex needs help now though with removing the gutters i think he can't get the clips to release so we need to do that and if it pours with rain then I don't know, I really wanted to get some masonry paint, like another layer, and maybe some sanding, that kind of stuff, just a little bit every day, so we move, but it's just very, it's very been very challenging as a project for us because of this weather. It's very unusual in the UK, and I know that probably you're watching maybe UK vloggers, or if you're from the UK, you probably understand, but if you're not from the UK, in the UK we've had weather that's very unusual, and it, it does scare me because it's definitely related to climate change. I think that it's the wettest, uh, wettest 18 month period on record so since 1836 so obviously it could have happened in the past but on record it's the in our lifetimes in our parents lifetimes and our great our grandma my battery died probably a sign that I was talking too much but yeah in all of our like recent ancestors lifetimes we have never had weather this wet in England and every single day you know it's march we're in spring every single day it is stormy winds like gale force winds i think today it's like 40 mile an hour winds um rain constantly and it doesn't feel like spring roxy wants to be up this is just like becoming a meme on my channel now that she has to get up every time i talk to you at this window yeah it's just it, it really makes me feel sad and i i think that when we kind of like um disconnect ourselves from nature we don't acknowledge the importance and the connection we have as humans to nature so like the weather and the i guess whatever is going on outside it does impact you so i feel like when nature is not happy humans aren't happy like when it's really bad weather constantly and you can tell it's different it just it does get me down it does make me scared because of the future and yeah just the changing seasons so it has been challenging as a project for us to get it done alex just come in the room because we're trying to do it and we're thinking it's spring you know we're gonna have days that it's gonna be a bit warmer and it just isn't happening but we're trying to power through and do it in between but you know obviously when you've got a, a normal job as well you have to you have to do that as well at the same time so we're getting there we're getting there but it's not something that i want to abandon and just leave until the summer we want to just we want to just get it done because it's a project we've started so we may as well finish it and this dog is actually hilarious. Um, she's literally just lying, like, look at her. <laughs> this is, if you want to understand Roxy and her personality, this is it, look at her mouth. She's just really relaxed for no reason. Like, I wasn't even doing anything and she's lying there as if I'm like, playing with her or stroking her. <laughs> what is it? What is it, little one? What is it? She just, if you dropped her, she's just like, she finds this funny. You trust me implicitly, don't you? Don't you? Mm -hmm. 
Mwah. Best thing we ever did was adopting you. Mwah. You stupid. Are you stupid? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You stupid. Yes, you are. My sister, oh no, my brother in law said she looks like David Beckham with her haircut. <laughs> This is what I mean, look at this, 57 mile per hour winds. And this is happening every day or like every few days. And then again, tomorrow we've got 43 mile per hour winds. And then Wednesday it's chilled, but it's raining. Thursday, no wind, but rain. And then Friday, it looks, Friday looks like we're gonna have a normal spring day. This is what you would expect from a spring day. <laughs> oh, so let's just look forward to the weekend and maybe yeah, maybe focus on inside tasks. I have to clean up my um, dressing room quite badly, so I'll do that. I have created such a mess in this dressing room. I definitely did nothing outside, got in my paint clothes, and it was so windy and so cold. It's the solar eclipse tonight. We were gonna go look at it, but it's misty. And so I'm just going to tidy this mess away. <laughs> And I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm gonna put Real Housewives on. If you're a fellow reality TV she addict, re reality, what did I just say? Reality TV addict, <laughs> I feel like I went a bit strange there. Then you need to watch The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City if you haven't. My sister recommended it to me and it is the most insane series of events captured on reality TV I've ever seen. It's not just your standard, you know, housewives arguing with each other about what they said to each other behind their backs. Even though that is a massive part of it, there is like a whole crime scene, there's a whole like criminal case that happens and it is fascinating and addictive. I may have already said this in a vlog and I may be repeating myself, but it's just, I'm hooked on it. I've got to the point now that I've found out everything that's happened and I'm on season four. So I've kind of got past that storyline and it's a bit sad because it's not as good anymore, but still I'm enjoying it thoroughly. And <laughs> it is taking over my life. I've not been watching YouTube because I'm so hooked on The Real Housewives. I'm kind of missing YouTube because Real Housewives is not relaxing, it's people arguing. <laughs> so sometimes I'm a bit like, why am I watching this? Because people are arguing, but it is very entertaining and hilarious. Like it's laugh out loud funny. So yeah, but I'm kind of missing my relaxing YouTube videos. I need to get back to that, but I'm gonna put that on and put all this stuff away. Well, I, I, I'm being dramatic. I've just got to put some things away in storage and I've just got to put my shoes away. So it's not horrendous, it's just, annoying but we'll do it we'll we'll get to it this is the part of decluttering that nobody likes to do <laughs> and then i need to go through and actually take loads of pictures of these clothes but i think that i might do that tomorrow because even though we get light in the evenings now it's misty so the light is not great i do have a ring light i'm tempted if i've got a ring light i could hang everything up and it might be fine because it actually stays light until like eight now so we'll see how we get on Everyone knows he's married and I don't. many hours later at a time that I would never usually vlog but I got really carried away I gave up with the um let me just move back I gave up with the selling of things today because dinner was ready and then I was like I'll just do it when it's daylight but one thing I wanted to do was sort out my handbags so I have a huge um makeup bag from the flat Laco. Because I get sent products, I'm so lucky I end up with duplicates of things sometimes and I don't end up using them because you probably notice a lot of the time I do not wear makeup. I probably only wear it a third of the time. Um, I've got makeup on today actually, but I'm also very boring with my makeup and I wear the same makeup. So sometimes I will have duplicates and I was thinking 
if I have more makeup in my handbag or my gym bag, then there's just a high likelihood I'm gonna use it. So uh, if I'm out and about and I'm nipping into a shop and I wanna put some lip, lip gloss on, that kind of thing. So I organized my handbag. This is my Canusa vegan leather handbag. That is my everyday handbag. I love it so much. I have just divided it up and this may seem over the top. I'm, I'm just such a person and my sister got my birth chart done for me for Christmas and it summed up exactly my personality. It says that I am very organized and I crave organization and order and that control, but I'm also very disorganized, scatty, all over the place. So I am a, I'm a, you know, what's it called? Dichotomy, that's a bit of a dramatic word, but you know the word I'm trying to say. Uh, a contrast, a oxymoron and it does drive me mad because <laughs> I am disorganized and then I, but then I crave this kind of control and this this these systems so I do go back and forth quite dramatically between the two all the time with everything in my life and so my handbag is either such a mess that it's full of receipts it's full of rubbish it's not organized in the slightest or it's like this and I have um you know all these different dividers in there Whereas most people probably just have a handbag with stuff thrown in there, but they regularly maybe organize it all. My computer's the same. My computer is either I have completely organized it and everything is perfect, and then it goes to um, being a mess. Same as my wardrobe. You've seen it on my channel, how I organize my wardrobe. But the more I do it, the more I get into these systems, the better I am at them. So enough dilly-dallying. Let me show you. This is a, what's it? What's the brand? Elizabeth Scarlet, is that the name? Yes. These are the most beautiful makeup bags. I would love more, but this is a beautiful elephant. It's my favorite one. It's the one that I use. It's just the special one. And in here is like a mini makeup bag. So I've got my Tangle Teaser. This is like a, what's in my bag? I've got a little nail file. because Nothing is worse if you're out and about and your nail breaks. And then I've just got this Amy powder foundation because I figured that's the most simple thing. If you wanna just like touch your makeup off up, it's kind of like a powder, it's kind of a foundation. And then, um, oh, did I put that in here? I thought I did. Did I put it in the wrong one? Thought I put a foundation stick in. Yes, it's in here. My Bare Minerals foundation stick. Love this and this is just very easy to use. A comb some hair ties, um, a lipstick. This is really old. I probably should throw this away, but it's an Illamasqua lipstick in Bang. Um, a lip balm, a lip gloss, <laughs> uh, mascara, some of these little sample perfumes, nail clippers, just in case my nail breaks, uh, hair clips, a spoolie, a little cheek tint, and a concealer. And these are kind of the ones I don't use as often, the ones that aren't necessarily my favorites. Um, and you know what? I may never use these because I actually have had a makeup bag in my handbag for a long time and I often don't really use it, but I really want to get into like, I don't know, just doing more with the things I have in my life. I feel like I'm often just running around not thinking that I have things that can help me out and I end up struggling. <laughs> So I'll be out and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I look gross. Or I, I'm like, oh, I don't have this with me. And I do, it's in my handbag. Or I've left my handbag at home that has it in it. This is a, just like a mini essentials, like kind of travel pouch. And I may adjust this or add to it. But I thought this is kind of cute that if I go traveling, I know I have this bag here. So it's got a hand sanitizer, a little sleep mask and matching scrunchie. This is from Lily and Lionel. If I'm like on a plane or on a train and want to sleep. Some tissues, a tampon, hand cream, a chocolate bar, some Compede. This was something I got on that Lily and Lionel trip. It's just a bamboo razor and shave cream because I feel like I often forget my razor for things. And a little um, everyday oil. This is a Dr. Jackson's one and I swear by this to have like a aromatherapy oil that you can sniff. If you're on a plane, I get very stressed. And even just a placebo of sniffing it or, or just taking those deep breaths whilst you're feeling anxious can just really help to calm you down. Like it's a habit now I have. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll probably add other things to this little pouch, but kind of cute. I can just take it out when I get on the plane. It'd be maybe the sort of thing that I might put, um, what else could I put in here for the plane? Like some mints or something. And then I've just got a little tiny pouch for um, some chargers, headphones, pens, a little foam strap. Again, I might 
think of other things that could be useful in here just for when I'm out and about. So that's my sort of handbag essentials. And I also want to get a notepad because that's another thing when I'm traveling, I often think, why don't I have a notepad on me? Because I have so many rocking about in the house. I feel like it'd be good to have a journal or a notepad and kind of get into the habit of doing that when I'm traveling. And then this is my Vivea handbag that I want to start using as my gym bag because I don't ever use a gym bag and it would be quite useful. So this is kind of the same thing, but just another pouch of other spare things that I have. So I've got some ibuprofen, um, a comb, hand cream, scrunchy hair tie, because I always forget hair ties when I go to the gym because it's early in the morning. Oops. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. A little perfume stick because I like to smell good. <laughs> Though I feel like maybe I should put, no, I've got, I'm now deciding which one, no, I think that if I'm wearing my handbag, I'd probably put perfume on that day. Um, a sun cream because I'm regularly going to the gym before I've done any skincare and I forget, so I can just pop this on if I just get into the car and I'm like, oh, whoops. Um, actually, this one needs to go in here. So I'll put the small one in here because again it would be likely that I've already got makeup on if I've taken my handbag out or I've got sun cream on done my skincare uh 20 pounds because if I'm out and I want to go do like a Facebook marketplace run or something like that a mini charger a pen a little foundation stick if I need to go somewhere afterwards a lip balm so if I have yeah if I end up in a situation where I'm like I need to go somewhere after this I can use my little foundation stick and lip balm and feel a bit better um, none of these things are essential. I've literally gone to the gym for years with just my phone and my headphones. But now at the end of my gym trip, I can put my headphones in here so I don't forget them. I've also got a little tote bag so that I can go to the shop afterwards. And I, I'm i gonna also put a few other essentials in here. I feel like what would be good would be a spare pair of underwear because I don't know why that would be useful, but I just have this feeling that it would be. <laughs> As a woman, just having a spare pair. If you like started your period at the gym or something, it'd be useful. What else could be good in here? I'll have a little think, but maybe um, maybe I could put a small jumper in here or something. And yeah, it just means I've, I can just grab this in the morning and I know and I can always pre-pack it. Some people I maybe like shower at the gym, so that's why they have a gym bag, but I don't do that. I shower at home because I don't know why I would shower at my gym. My gym is not glamorous like that. Like I would love it if I went to a glamorous gym. But I don't, there is not one around here that exists <laughs> where I live. But yeah, that's um, that's my little, I'll put a nail file in there too. Let me know what you put in your gym bag, because if there are any little essentials that you think would be useful, then I will pop them in there. But I think essentially what I'm gonna put in there is just um, nothing else really. I also got this package earlier. This is from OEO. So dear Madeline Olivia, we'd like to, Wish you a few beautiful moments with OEO lab products. Okay, so this is, oh no, this lip balm's got all over the products. Mm, this makes me sad. Okay, this is OEO lab multi-dimensional hydrating facial serum. Beautiful sounding. So this is ingredients of natural origin, your skincare a level deeper. It's PETA approved, um, made in Poland, botanical skincare powered by science. It's kind of like the vibe that I love in skincare, where it's like natural skincare that's based in science. Um, and then the eye contour and eyelid complete serum. This is interesting because I struggle with eye creams. They always end up irritating my eye, I get eczema. So if it's a serum, maybe that would be better. And if it's more natural. Um, and this is a calming adaptogenic facial treatment. Oh, I need one of these because I've run out of masks and treatments for the bath. So this sounds beautiful, but it says that you can apply it morning and night. I know what else I need to add in there is a pair of sunglasses. I don't know where all my sunglasses has gone. It's been winter and these are the only pairs of sunglasses that are in my drawer. I have a pair of Celine sunglasses that are downstairs. Where are all my other sunglasses? I have so many pairs. Making me a bit concerned. Did I put them somewhere? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll get my celine sunglasses because those are my favorites i actually would like a new pair of sunglasses if i don't have any then i'm gonna need a new wet pair good morning the sun is shining the wind is still roaring but it's not raining 
and we have blue skies. So I'm gonna get to painting. We did take some of the guttering off. This won't come off because they've had to glue it back together. And so we just clean it up there and paint around it. We will get new gutters at some point. These are obviously older than the ones at the front. So um, it's just not high priority, They're, they function. We just need a few replacement bits. But when we eventually get to doing our house and our gutters, we'll probably do this at the same time and get it all done in one job lot. But um, for now they're fine. So we'll just clean them up, paint. So I'm going to paint the masonry, finally do another like coat, because it was a while ago that I did that and Alex is going to come out and do some sanding I think but he'll do it the opposite side so by the time I get round to it or he gets to it it should be dry so let's get the paint out the paintbrush and let's do this it's so cold I'm like fully wrapped up It's like nature is playing a game with me because the second, the second I went out there and started doing it, it started to rain. And now it's not, now it's not raining. Take two. wobbly because of the wind and I'm putting on the hinges to match the house because we've got gold on the house windows and doors and it works really well like it's a bit sparkly that's the only issue but thumbs up from me My goodness me, I'm so exhausted doing that. I 
love the way that that gold paint turned out. It's difficult because it like dries straight away when you're using it, which means it goes a bit lumpy. But I think what I'll do is use a really light sand in between layers to avoid that. But that saved us getting new hinges and new handles for a while yet because I mean the paint may chip off, but it looks really good. And I'm very pleased with that. I look really, really bad and I hate showing up looking like this but yeah alex's bread got stuck so it's still stuck i tried oh wow riverford's here so let's mm. look at this shall we we've got oranges i forget what they're for <laughs> lemons limes garlic i don't know why i'm saying like this and we've got our cool box which is melted i'm pretty sure this is just tofu We've got tofu and then is this what I ordered specifically? Yes. So we've got spinach, that's for a dal. We've got a tin of their delicious um bold bean co chickpeas, some shiitake mushrooms. We we'll get these, some spring onions. Oh wow, that's cool. That you can actually use the bottom like an onion. Uh, coriander and sweet potatoes that's also for the dal and then I got a salad box which has got a few different salad leaves so a lettuce and some loose salad leaves tomatoes peppers cucumber and radish it's the season for radish how cute and then the last one is the uh, fruit no the veg veg box veg box so we've got um lamb lettuce i think that this is i always forget chard chestnut mushrooms tomatoes purple sprouting broccoli whoa this is so interesting because the leeks that f that come from riverford are either massive or they're really small these are like spring onions and then we've got onions and potatoes so i need to put all this away this is a lot of food but i'm shooting a recipe like reshoot day on thursday and we did have on the schedule a specific dish but now i'm like i need i always change things because i really really want to finish painting that side but i'm so hungry but it's only 20 past six so we could just have a late dinner i'm gonna get alex to take this bread out so i can have some bread and then stick with the plan so we're having either tomato curry pearl barley, barley stew or purple sprouting broccoli and potato gratin i think i kind of want to go for the tomato curry only because it will probably be simplest and quickest and i just can't wait to make a gratin that takes so long um and then the other one the pearl barley stew i just feel like alex may not want that so alex can I try and just rip this bread out? I don't know why this has happened. I don't think this has ever happened before to Alex. Yeah. Oh, actually. Something's coming. not horrendous is it mm. well, it's not great but it's not bad now we can just eat these bits the crusty bits this is what you do what happened what happened it's like when uh pizza sticks to the stone bit of olive oil <laughs> mm. oh well we can do it we can make some that'll go well with like the omelette mm.
spring has finally shown itself. We have officially painted <laughs> down here. I've done the door. Can you believe, like I'm so chuffed with that gold paint because this looks like, when it's got a final coat, because that's only two coats, it probably is gonna need three, maybe four, because it was green. Um, but it almost looks like a new door, doesn't it? We need to do this bit here. We have a little issue. These two pieces, you can see there's rotting wood up here and over here. And uh, we were gonna replace the wood, but Alex did a bit of a fill, I'll show you around the corner on the wood and it actually worked quite well. So it probably is something that we're gonna do in the future. Obviously you've watched how much work we've been doing to paint this outside and we're not just not ready at the moment to just undertake a whole other thing of something new we've never done. So taking the wood out and replacing it, we will do it in the future. It's just not high priority and we obviously know that it needs to be done. But I probably would rather get a carpenter to do it. So for now, we're gonna fill it and paint it and the plan will be that when we do our house, the gutters and the fascias professionally um, and get them all changed probably next year because it's a really expensive job. We put it off year after year because every time we go to do it, we think it's just too much money. Um, so yeah, it will probably be booked. I think we should book it for like a year from now or and I don't know, it's just, it has to be a summer job. You can't really do it in the winter. Yeah, we'll see anyway. Um, we could do it maybe end of summer. We'll see how things go. Um, we need to get a new coat essentially. But yeah, when that happens, we'll probably get new guttering for this as well. Because I want aluminium black guttering, ideally, just for aesthetic reasons. Um, and then we can get a carpenter to actually fix that properly. But what we'll do, because the wisteria, you can see how much it's growing over here. We will put a wire along down here and make the wisteria grow over and that will probably happen pretty rapidly because the wisteria grows so fast and by the end of the summer it will be over there and you won't notice it and yeah it's not perfect but it will do so around here you can see we painted this and the gutters need to just go back on so just can you remember that i'm gonna put a screenshot now of what it was like before how disgusting it was and keep in mind we had power washed this wall so that was it power washed <laughs> like properly power washed so yeah it's very transformed i need to do another coat on this window um and then we're going to get a shed so if, please ignore the mess i'm not the sort of person who's particularly tidy when i when i um do diys everything just becomes a mess because i get a bit hyper focused into doing it so we've got a cement base here for a shed so we'll have a shed there and i think we'll paint it the same color uh or let me know what you think should i paint it the same color as the as the building or should we do like a, a slightly different color like a uh like a darker blue or like a, a sage green or something so all this mess will go in the shed um that's our cushion box i'm gonna put that on the patio over there somewhere and and then we'll we'll have like some storage or something here like maybe something on the back of the shed so you won't be able to walk through like this but you don't really need to and then this can be storage for our bins and i want to paint this gate because this is last year i painted this oh i can't get through last year i painted this but it's already pretty grim and then our driveway is the next job but that has to be professionally done because this is not very pretty and you can see over here we've got this kind of brick like masonry and i just don't like it at all i want like a cornish wall but that will be again a big expense and then we will re-gravel this floor we'll do this ourselves actually this year we'll order some from online and just relay it just get rid of all the weeds um and just top it up just like properly clean the whole driveway top up the gravel and that'll make a huge difference because then we can like make the front tidy and um let me show you what looks so pretty our oh, beautiful patio so this was the filling that alex did and that was pretty similar to the rotten part of wood around the corner he put some wood rot stuff on it and then filled it and i think it looked great um this is still making me so happy how neat and tidy this looks like i'm so pleased we did this ourselves like look how good it looks like it's just <gasps> 
and then over here my big Renault regret was removing this shed that we had uh, we'll get a new shed in here so we'll, we'll put some kind of base down gravel it and put a big shed here like a really big one so that we have proper storage and then this is a whole other story which we've got to sort but whatever and then I need to paint this wall <laughs> because this is the same wall as the driveway and as much as I would like to change it we'll just paint it and I think it'll look a million times better and the jury is still out on whether we are going to remove this paint on the house or whether we're just going to top it up I just keep changing my mind it's such a messy job such an expensive job and I just don't know I'm not convinced it's what's causing the mold in the house but when you paint a building you realize how dirty things are look how grubby this is I'm very tempted this summer to undertake this myself hire one of those um like what well, they, they, I forget the word for them but they're like a trolley ladder thing that you can assemble or get you can hire it and it can move around so it's kind of like a movable scaffold and paint this myself just so it just doesn't look so horrible and see what we think of it for a few years because my parents had sorry that's the boiler <laughs> my parents let me go around the front my parents had their house uh that we used my my house I grew up in they had that paint removed and they my dad said he was still finding dust and like specks of like paint or like bits from the wall the the, the stuff they use I'm really full of my words today I'm tired and hungry um he said they were finding it years later so he was like just it would be good but very messy and it's very loud very disturbing for neighbors that kind of thing I just what do you think please give me your opinion should I just paint it myself it it will probably take a while but masonry is way easier than wood because you don't have to do any sanding you just paint it and then maybe it would look a lot nicer i really desperately want the gutters to be fixed because they just are such an eyesore on our house like i love the way our house looks like it's so beautiful and then these horrible look at this it's just so gross but it's so expensive look how every time I like want to show the back of the house I'm like ah and then this is in the way anyway that is my update I'm gonna have some black bean meatballs from my cookbook Alex is cooking this is his new fave recipe that he makes pasta ready to go Ooh, look at them you make them even neater than me because Alex weighs them out I didn't weigh this oh my god look how good they look they're super meaty and really filling so that's what dinner is Watch in the office oh now it looks good we have my gym bag <laughs> and look my nails are matching my favorite jumper and the item of clothing that seems to sponsor my channel We've got my gym bag so I can take my little pouch out. I was just thinking that my lips were dry. I'm going to put this, I'm going to turn the car on so I can put the heated seat on because it's pouring with rain and really cold and I took Roxy out and I'm now really cold. You know, and you just kind of catch a chill. So look, I've got my little typology lip tint that I can use. Lovely might use some of this this is a joe loves paintbrush gel and i don't know what the scent is but it's the yellow one i don't know if they're color coded but um it came with refills so i used the first one up and i just have always have it in a bag of some kind and this is the refill it's really fresh smelling and it's almost unisex I feel like it's really fresh but it also has that kind of slightly manly smell which I really love and I feel like women can totally wear those sorts of smells so it's Wednesday today it's hump day I ache so much from all the painting yesterday I really powered through getting it done because I knew today was going to be raining and I'm so glad I did because I think that tomorrow it's raining on and off and Friday is sunny so we can hopefully finish uh, those two days <laughs> finally <laughs> uh, 
and today I don't know what I have on the uh, the agenda today I have some editing to do as always I haven't been posting on Instagram I feel like I get so down about this because being an influencer or a content creator on the internet today is so different to what it used to be and I used to hear people saying that and being like yeah yeah like get over it but now I'm experiencing it more for myself I guess in a different way that it's just so overwhelming because I used to kind of be aware of the people who were YouTubers, who were influencers, the American YouTubers or influencers. I used to kind of be aware of who they all are, generally. <laughs> but I guess because I'm older now, I don't know who they are. And so every time I pop up on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, they're always new people. And I'm just like, I don't know who these people are. There are so many content creators now. There's so much new content all the time. I go on their page and they've got millions of followers. And I'm just like, where did these this person pop up from? Um, and then I'm like, oh, I should be creating more content like they are, you know, they're posting a recipe every day or they're vlogging their days on TikTok. I end up comparing myself to people too much and then thinking, also just not, not comparing myself, but just being inspired. So I'll see something and I'll think, oh my gosh, that's such a cool idea. I would love to recreate that. Or I would love to create videos like that because I loved it. I loved watching it and all content creators will do this, but I, I do it to the degree of getting carried away and, and misled to the point that I don't do anything. So I'll think, oh, I saw that someone posted a recipe video and it featured a certain ingredient or a certain, there was a certain theme. And I'm like, oh, I need to do that because that's a really, that's a seasonal ingredient. And then it gets in my head and then I obsess over it. And then I think, oh no, because of this, this, and I don't end up doing it. And the times in which I'm the most productive the times that you probably know, have noticed or see that I'm very um, consistent is when I'm literally just doing what I want to do. And the times when I sort of fall off a bit is the time when I'm getting distracted or comparing myself to other people or seeing that other people are doing certain things and thinking, oh, because I can't do it all. I'm only one person. Um, and so the long and short of this story, I got a bit distracted in what I was saying, but because I've been painting, and because we've been focusing on that, I find it so difficult. And I think as I get older, I'm trying not to resist that feeling as much and try, it's hard because content creation is my job. But sometimes I have to remember that like, the feeling that I have is normal and social media is not normal. So having YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, three different platforms with different content to create on is not normal. There, there's no like kind of example of this in the past. If you wrote, I don't know, I don't know if you had a magazine, it's a magazine, that's the magazine that you could create for, or um, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> An artist wouldn't be creating multiple different, um, like a, a musician wouldn't be writing multiple different albums at the same time or creating an artist would be creating multiple different collections at the same time. You focus on one and sometimes that's what it feels like. Not that I'm comparing content creators or influencers to artists or musicians before you write that comment because I know that's not the same comparison. They're completely different. <laughs> Influencing content creation is much simpler. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? It's like me feeling like I just need to focus on one thing, which is YouTube, and get on with whatever it is I'm doing in my life, you know, whatever renovation project I'm doing, it's that that's natural because as a human, you can only do so much in, in a day. And so trying to keep up with this rat race, trying to uh, maintain that whilst, I guess, uh, you know, endlessly, forever and ever, with no breaks, no downtime, no pauses, no kind of like, I guess taking a break in some way is ridiculous. Everyone does it and I don't notice when they do it. So I don't know why I'm so worried, but you get in your own head and think about it, even though I don't need to, but I've not posted on Instagram really at all, apart from um, an ad, which I feel really bad about because I've just been focusing on doing, you know, doing the renovation. And I, I did this when I, when we were doing lots of renovations in the house, I remember this exact same thing happening when we were doing the kitchen and there were loads of things going on. I just kind of stopped posting on Instagram as much because it's just difficult to maintain. So I need to kind of figure out a way that I do maintain that when these things are happening. And it's part of my personality. I get focused on something and I just kind of want to go for it and get it done. 
and I need to kind of bring back a bit of balance. It's very easy when you're self-employed to just be like, well, I'm gonna get what I need to get done done and then the rest can wait and I'll get on with what I'm getting on with. And I've been doing that a bit too much. So with all that said, that little kind of ramble about this career, this job, this life, um, I will come home and I will edit a Instagram reel because there's three recipe reels that I have yet to edit that I need to upload. So I'm gonna do that first and yeah, just get on with it because I just I, I put I put these things off and then it, it that, then it impacts my brain because it's on my mind that I've not been posting on a certain platform. I also just I feel like with places like Instagram, I do feel so disillusioned because I just don't grow on there, and it's it's interesting to me because the short period of time I've posted on TikTok, I've gained a certain amount of followers, <clears throat> maybe half of my um, Instagram following. And I've only been posting on TikTok like regularly, like really recently. Uh, whereas Instagram I've had since I've had YouTube. So it just, it feels so contrasty. I normally don't talk about these sorts of things. Not that followers, like the amount of followers you have matters. That's not kind of like where I'm, what I'm getting at here. It's just, when it's your job, of course you're gonna look at numbers. That's like, it would be weird if you didn't. So yeah, sometimes it makes me down because YouTube, TikTok, they kind of reward you, they pay you that you grow if you post content and people watch your videos and if you post a different video or an interesting video it can go viral or it can gain a few more views instagram for me personally that just doesn't happen and i'm unsure why even if i have a video like i did 30 days of vegan and i think i gained like 500 followers and i was literally like the the hundreds of thousands of views that i got doing that across those 30 days and instagram is just like yeah well don't really care um but if, uh, on, I remember on TikTok, I remember, I think I gained like a, maybe 5,000. So it's, it's, it's very different. Anyway, I'm really going on and probably lots of people won't like me saying these kinds of things because they're gonna say, oh, you know, don't care about followers, but it's kind of like saying to a shop owner, oh, don't care about sales because it's literally how you make money. It was how you, um, why you have this career because if you have a certain amount of followers, um, on YouTube, you get a certain amount of views and then you get AdSense. And then obviously for brand deals, brands will look at you and think she's got this many followers so we can pay her this amount for this brand deal and they can see you and they can pick you up. People can watch your content and learn from you. If you have a product that you sell, they'll learn from you and see it. And you know, it's all part of it. And any content creator or influencer, since they don't care about followers is, well, I'm not gonna say they're lying because I don't care about followers. It's that I, it's, it's part of it. It's just, it's part of it that you can't ignore. It's part of the, it's part of the process. So, and it's also just kind of like human nature to have a reward system, you know? It's, it's playing, that's why social media is so addictive because it plays up to that reward system in our brains that scientifically we have, that you're rewarded. If you post something, you get a certain amount of views or whatever, it's like a, a vicious circle. Anyway. I'm, 11 minutes in and probably none of you were prepared for this conversation about social media so let's put on some music and go to the gym i didn't go yesterday because i was getting on with things um which again is something that i need to not do but we move literally well 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 what do we have here alex's wallet guess time to go on a shopping trip <laughs> gym's finished that was actually a surprisingly nice workout considering how I felt going into it. I really was not in the mood, super tired, but it's amazing. This is how I just, I know I keep going on about it, but when you listen to your cycle and you track your cycle with your workout, it just transforms the experience. So because I know the time of my cycle, I reduced the weights and it made the whole experience enjoyable. So. I'm not doing the weights too heavy and then feeling really exhausted and then not enjoying the workout and then feeling like I had a crap workout, which is what I used to do. So um, yeah, way more enjoyable for that reason. So if you're you're not tracking your cycle and, and adjusting your workouts, give it a go. And I even like the style of workout, I personally like to keep a routine. So I keep the same workout going, but I just massively adjust the intensity and it just, it just makes for a more enjoyable experience. Instead of kind of doing your max weight with your squats, you just do a weight that's comfortable, but still challenging. Like squats are always gonna be challenging, 
but not pushing your limit can really really help i love this lip balm from lush it's the snow fairy lip mask it smells so good and it also leaves such a lovely color on your lips i'm gonna go to mns now i was thinking i really wish i know this is so uh niche but i really wish that there was a shop um where i live that does like organic food there's like quite a few farm shops but none of them really do organic i don't you know you have to you have to be very organized <laughs> to every single week and make sure you're ordering the right things from riverford we have got most of the things from riverford i've just got a few little things to pick up got some coconut oil ginger chili um oat milk dark chocolate desiccated coconut in fact i'm gonna ring alex i feel like we have some of these ingredients i don't want to buy more of them I'm just going to go and buy the things and then go home and my task for today may be um, putting some things on Vinted and selling some stuff because that's been on my list for so long and it's a sort of not as busy work day. I'm going to take advantage. Do you know what I've been having recently, I don't know if I shared this already, is protein powder with coconut kefir and coconut kefir kefir is really great for your gut so i'm trying to have something for my gut every day whether it's kefir whether it's kimchi sauerkraut um what other things are great for your gut like fermented foods uh tempeh but having this before the gym has solved my problem of what do i eat before the gym gets my protein and does something for my gut though i did not drink most of it before the gym because i still just don't think i'm a pre-gym eater Right, so in m and I got a few things. So if you watched my declutter of my wardrobe, I mentioned that I needed a white t-shirt and I'm no longer spending money on white t-shirts because they all get marked in the house uh, with our copper pipes. But they had a nice linen blend one. That's a really nice like fit. You can see the drapery of it. So it's 50% modal, 50% linen. And that's what I do if I'm shopping in a high street shop, which is rare. I feel like the only ones I shop in is M&S and Sea Salt. Sea Salt because it's Cornish and they do lots of things with their materials to be more sustainable. And M&S, they do have more um, items that have like responsibly sourced cotton, that kind of thing. M&S definitely have a ways to go, like they have improvements to be met, to make. But um, I've said this before, the reason I like M&S is number one, it's very local to me. So I can easily shop in a physical shop which is a good thing to shop in a physical shop because you're supporting the local kind of like job economy i guess people having employment in a physical shop but also because i feel like they cater to body shapes better and as someone who has body image issues i know i can go to m&s buy a pair of trousers in a size 14 and they will fit me because their sizing is accurate and they cater to women's bodies i have just i'm just over the stress of ordering clothes and then the sizing being off and i don't know that's my personal experience with mns it gives me this level of comfort and i think when we have discussions on like ethics and sustainability it's important to keep in mind um people's like mental health or people's comfort and i really do not um shop from fast fashion like ever so I'm not buying fast fashion items, I'm buying stuff that I'm gonna keep in my closet for a long time. Um, and that, that's kind of just how I like to share things. I'm not perfect, I'm not someone who exclusively buys from really expensive, sustainable brands and exclusively goes to charity shops, you know, raking through the, um, the aisles, trying to find the lines of clothes, trying to find the perfect item, like it's not realistic. I'm six foot tall, I have body image issues and it's gonna be challenging for me to, I've been looking, I've, I've been looking for a pair of jeans from vintage shops for a really long time every time i go into them i try jeans on and they never work annoyingly i've got some really great trousers recently but i've not found the right size for me because they're either way too small or they're way too big or they're the wrong length or something and i just haven't had that luck so i just thought you know what i just need to just go and buy a pair from mns so i got this pair i'm not 100 percent sure on if i'm gonna love them because i've got a rose gold button i've just noticed which i kind of hate and um, I don't love it when they have these kind of crinkly, well, we'll see. They're just a straight leg pair of jeans and they're called the Sienna. They didn't have tool. So if I'm going to look online before I take this label off and see if they have tool online. And if they do, I re will reorder it and then return these. So we'll see. 
And then I got this beautiful dress, which was a bit of an impulse. I might return it because Alex was like, don't you have a dress like that? But it was just too pretty. So this is responsibly sourced cotton. Again, I'm not saying M&S are perfect, but it's nice that they have those kinds of things in their shops that maybe some others don't really think about. But this is very similar to that vintage dress I have, the one with the long sleeves, except it's sleeveless. And I just thought the boning or the sort of seam detail on the dress was beautiful. And this in the summer in the garden, I just, I really hope it looks nice on because look at the amount of material in this skirt. That's so rare to, to find that amount of material. So it just feels like a vintage dress. I just saw it there. It's an impulse buy. I'm not perfect. Don't come for me. I'm just trying to be a nice influencer who doesn't doesn't show off too much. I actually haven't done any like hauls recently. And then I got this pillow, this cushion, because it was too beautiful. Look at it, it's embroidered. It was quite pricey. Um, it was 40 pounds, but it was just gorgeous. So I got two of them to sit in the kitchen. So Roxy's gonna model, I need to take the labels off, but I may move them because I'm always moving cushions around and tell me if you think this is too much. Look at her hair. You're so funny. Tell me if you think this is too much pattern. So, oh, Bobby, they look very cute there. Cause basically this area is very white. When um, we finally, in a million years, we've never done it, but if we eventually get around to fixing these doors and actually having them work, I'm going to repaint them because I think the white was a bit, it's a bit too white. I kind of want to paint them like maybe, I would be tempted with yellow, but I would worry it'd be overkill with this. So let me know what you think. Like maybe like a creamy color, like to match the fireplace, maybe a stony color, maybe just like, maybe just like an off white color like this rather than this white, because this area is so white and we really need a blind. And eventually I think when we get one, I'll get a nice patterned one. But let me know if you think this is too much pattern. Cause if this one is that way up, is that, no, I think it's very lovely. I like it. I'm gonna make breakfast now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> unsure about this t-shirt only because it's so see-through and I tend to wear bralettes. Now I'm going to return this t-shirt, don't like it. And these jeans, also these jeans are fine but they're short so I'm going to return them. So bit of a fail. So this is my outfit. When I was doing my try on I realised this jumper I just don't really wear and it's quite a nice colour so I feel like it's good to wear with like a pinky ready lip. And then I got this little polka dot scrunchie. Oh my gosh, I just noticed a ginormous spider crawling down. We don't want him going in the backpack. Ew, go back up onto the ceiling, mate. I've got my, I think that these are Astrid and Mew earrings and if they're not there, no, they are Astrid and Mew, I'm pretty certain. And I'm wearing my t-shirt that has little holes in them. <laughs> because uh, the see-through one was not, not working out. And then I've got my, you probably can't really see very well from, from where you are, but I've got my Lucy and Yak trousers, just the most comfortable trousers. And then these little Vivea loafers, just, I feel so much better if I've got a full outfit on and I can just get to work. So I'm gonna take photos of all of the clothes and then I'm gonna sit and upload them all to Vinted. And then this afternoon, I'm gonna do the same with some of the electronic stuff we've got to sell. I did sell my Canon G7X Mark II on Instagram the other day and it went straight away. So I might just do that with the other stuff I have because 
it might just be a simpler way of doing it because lots of people who are following the content creators will want to get into that so it just makes sense to me we've got like a drone we've got old cameras lenses that kind of stuff so oh what perfume i'm so obsessed with this fern one that that's such a good noise as well oops but i just end up wanting to wear it it's my everyday at the most so i'm gonna yeah do that i need to find a nice hanger and i thought i could hang it on here and what I could do for some of the items is I may be able to, I don't want to try them on, but I may be able to find like screenshots from the YouTube video to put in the listing so that you can see it on. Yeah, let's get to it. morning i have been rushing around this morning i've been to the gym i've got myself ready my hair's a bit wet still but we've got a shoot day today just doing some reshooting of old recipes uh we've been doing this a lot recently and we're doing i think chocolate orange oats some almond cheese some energy bars and a sweet potato spinach and chickpea dal so yeah i'm looking forward to a shoot day a long shoot day and I've got my Linen Fox dress on because when I did that like wardrobe declutter I realised how much I love this dress and I haven't been wearing it very much and my new M&S cardigan and I've got my hourglass makeup that I'm obsessed with <laughs> I feel like it's so brightening and lovely and um, I think Ali may have just arrived so we'll get straight to shooting has just left we've had a very successful shoot day we did sweet potato chickpea spinach dal three ingredient energy balls which i'm going to eat one of now these bad boys my garlic almond cheese here we are bobby right on cue what was the last thing we had sorry ali rang but i think it might have been a butt dial um what was the other thing we made? My brain. Oh yeah, and chocolate orange porridge, which is a delicious breakfast. So now I'm gonna have a break, have a cup of coffee with an energy ball. And then, cause it's not raining, it's just like kind of a bit gray outside. I'm gonna go and paint a coat on the door. Cause I think the technique with this is little and often. So yeah, so that something's getting done. <laughs> because you have to wait in between for things to dry. And then tomorrow's sunny, so we should make loads of progress tomorrow and hopefully finish all the outside painting. Yeah, we will. Uh, oh no, we probably won't because we've got that like triangle to do and we have to wait for, we'll have to wait for bits to dry. But by the end of the weekend that will be done and by 
the end of um, tomorrow, the rest of the stuff we've already done will be done. Delivery. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee now with this energy ball because I've been waiting to enjoy one of these all day. Didn't have one earlier, I don't know why. This is the dal, delicious dal, and the rest of it's here. These are all live on my website. We're just reshooting them because the photos aren't great and we're updating everything. Uh, and then Ali made cookies yesterday, so these are gonna be enjoyed as well. Friday, Alex is making bread. Can you hear the food mixer whirring? I walked Roxy this morning. I did quite a long walk because it's sunny outside, the sun is shining, it's blue skies, it feels like spring. I could see bluebells and uh, snowdrops everywhere when I was walking, and it just made me feel so happy and excited that soon the hedgerows will be filled with loads of colourful spring flowers. We're going to go to the gym now. Alex is just putting some bread on. These that I made yesterday, like I'm gonna start making these every week because this is this is I think the perfect pre-gym snack. I had that dilemma when I was talking to you, like, what do I have for all the gym? I'll see how it makes me feel, but um, it was really enjoyable to eat. I'll leave the recipe; it's just a three-ingredient recipe. But if I feel okay having that before the gym, it's literally cocoa powder, dates, and nuts. Then. I can have that every week and throw whatever I want in there. And I looked and buy Whole Foods online, have organic medjool dates that I can order in bulk. So Alex is having a couple before breakfast. Before breakfast, before the gym. And I might make some of those at the weekend, make like a big batch of them. Though actually, this weekend. How long would it take for those to be delivered? They're quite quick with delivery. Uh, might come Monday. Well, Monday would be fine. We're home and I've just whipped up some tofu scramble and I'm gonna have it, oops, spit burnt, with a nice little wrap because we've run out of bread. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, you burnt it. Yeah, but it gives it a nice char. I'm a little bit sad that we don't have any avocado because it would have gone so well in this. yesterday because I think I was just getting on with it but we painted the fascia at the top and I think I mentioned this maybe in this video the last video that we're not replacing these two bits of wood because it's just too big of a job so a temporary fix was to fill here and I've tried to make the effort to fill any gaps or holes we used like a wet rot wood uh, treatment on all the rotten bits of wood and then I've tried to fill all the holes so more water doesn't get in. Up here we've used expanding foam because the hole was much bigger and then I'm going to cut it and then use wood filler to finish that bit and we also took the antenna off because we don't use it, we don't need it and this was a bit of wood that was kind of falling falling away. I actually think that when we filled, this is gonna look so much better. And then the wisteria. I did originally think the wisteria should go up and over, but I actually looked up lots, lots of photos of wisterias yesterday. And generally speaking, people don't do that. People do it straight. Um, and obviously on the house, it's kind of like up, across, across and up. So I think it would look better if it just went straight across here and then it should hide these kind of marks and we'll put a, a wire across so that it's not like on the in the wood or anything and I'll try and keep an eye regularly so it doesn't try and make its way inside somehow in a hole and just make sure I'm trimming it so yeah but it's already quite long so it's already down to here so I think if I put it up it should reach 
um, well that bit should reach halfway at least I think and yeah it just looks so much nicer got some final little holes to fill got to get the guttering cleaned and put back up and I'm so pleased with this gold paint we've put the hook on so that the doors don't swing open but yeah this gold paint if you are doing a cheaper renovation or like you don't want to spend money on you know or like you want to just be more sustainable and not buy new things but spruce things up because in my experience when you spend the money it's kind of like people don't even I just feel like it's not the sort of thing people notice you don't have to have everything brand new and sometimes actually having like upcycled old things looks better Thank you. 